Hello everyone, today's topic is the Union Executive. What is Union Executive? Union Executive provides supervision to the Indian government and is considered the most significant official government branch concerning practice while primacy belongs to the legislature. The Indian Parliament's three members who make laws and oversees all administrative tasks make up the Union Executive. What the Union Executive means? There is a fundamental ring between the Union Executive and the State Executive. The Union Executive duty to implement legislation passed by the legislature and it coordinates with the governing party ministers who make policy judgments. In comparison, the State Executive is the portion of the State Administration which implements laws and is answerable to the government of the state. What is the composition and structure of the Union Executive? The ministries and the departments help to operate the administration successfully along with legislature and directorate. All executive members' responsibilities and qualifications are further discussed. In this PBT, uh, the union's executive is made of first the president which is the de jure head or the nominal executive head, second is vice president, third one is prime minister which is the de facto head or real executive. Fourth is Attorney General and fifth is the Council of Ministers. President The President serves as both the States and the Union Executive's head. The President is given the executive authority and he exercises it while being guided by the Ministers. Now what should be the qualifications to become a President? The President must be a citizen of India. This is the very basic qualification that a person should hold uh, for become a president according to the article 56 of the indian constitution the president must be a citizen of india and at least 35 years old additionally he must be eligible to serve as an elected member of the house of people as per article 56 clause 1 the president can hold office for five years from when he takes control of his position on the first day the president position may become vacant in the event of his ouster, impeachment, dis demise or Supreme Court disqualification. Now what are the functions of a president? According to Article 53 of the Indian Constitution, the president has authority to enact laws and maintain public order. He can supervise the armed forces as a supreme commander. He can address both parliaments, both Supreme Court and High Court judges as well as important Indian government figures may be appointed by him with the approval of the ministerial council and the prime minister the president may declare war and peace he can summon as well as dissolve the parliament through his legislative powers when there is a national emergency in addition to the state or financial emergency the president also has additional authority now vice president under article 63 and 65 the vice president plays an essential role in the vacancy in the President's office. The qualifications of, of a vice president. He must be the previous Raj Sabha chair. In his absence, whatever circumstance, including his illness, passing, or resignation from office, he can carry out the president's duty. What are the functions of a vice president? When necessary, such as during the president's absence, illness, resignation, or death. As per Article 65 of the Indian Constitution, the vice president has the authority to act and perform similarly to the president when the president is unavailable or ill by article 65 he has the power to terminate the president's duty prime minister prime minister is a de facto head or the real executive so the lok sabha members who serve as a representative of the people choose the prime minister by article 73 both the council of ministers and the government's top leadership report to him he offers the president's advice qualifications a raj sabha or lok sabha member is required to serve as prime minister if he is running for the raj sabha he must be at least 30 years of age and at least 25 years old if he is a member of lok sabha he must be an indian national he is not permitted to hold any position in the Indian government or any state that is operated for profit. He can remain in office indefinitely but he must get the support of President and the Lok Sabha. What are the functions of a Prime Minister? The Prime Minister was put in charge of coordinating communications between the President and the Parliament.
He is in charge of advising the president on how to divide up the workload among the several ministries that the Indian government employs. For the administration of cabinet session, the Council of Union Executives must provide all information regarding union business or decision made. Next one is Attorney General. The Attorney General of India provides legal advice to the Indian government and represent it before the Supreme Court. They serve at the President discretion and are recommended by the Union Cabinet when the President nominates them. Attorney General works as a center power and the Advocate General works as a state power. Qualifications to become an Attorney General For the position of Supreme Court Judge, they must be qualified. As a result, they were required to have served as a High Court Justice for 5 years or as an Attorney for 10 or as distinguished jurist. The Attorney General of Indians term is under, undetermined. What are the functions of Attorney General? On legal matters, the Attorney General provides advice to the government. They also fulfill the President's legal obligation. Although he or she cannot vote, the Attorney General is entitled to appear in all Indian courts and to participate in parliamentary proceedings. In all Supreme Court cases, the Attorney General represents the government. The last one is Council of Ministers. The Council of Ministers the Council of Union Executive is the legislative body established under Article 74 including the Council of Union Executive include the State Ministers, Cabinet Minister and Deputy Ministers. Article 60 to 70 of the Indian Constitution covers all of the ministers which constitute as a Council of Union Executive. What are the qualifications? To be a member of either House of Parliament, the Council of Ministers must be eligible. He must be an Indian national. There is no time limit set for them and either by President or Prime Minister may request the resignation of any minister. What are the functions of Council of Ministers? Council of Ministers which makes up India's Union Government can act in concert with the Legislative Assemblies. The Council of Ministers wield the real power in the nation. The majority of decision is in the Cabinet are made by the ministers rather than the governor. Now concluding the uh, topic, the union executive. The union executive is one of the most important organ of the Indian democracy. It forms the soul of our Indian administrative system. Union executive act as a strong shoot for all the branches of administrative and executive bodies. The constitution makers have assembled together all the provisions needed to form a strong and responsible executive system for our nation. Thus, it makes it important for the citizen as well as to coordinate with the executive for the better functioning of our Indian democratic system.